Let's take a look at how to create an animated GIF with Keynote. So open up a new doc. Uh, we'll just choose any theme here. Um, let's go with a white one so we can see what we are doing. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to my three dots and just change the document setting. So I'm just going to make my animated GIF a square. Um, no particular reason, just showing that you can actually go to document setup and actually change the slide size as well. So I'm going to go with a square GIF today. And we're going to look at a little bit of a kind of a bones a skeleton kind of biology quick GIF here. So I'm going to press done. And then I'm going to go up to my plus and add some content. And I'm looking for the keynote shape that is a skeleton. So I'll go to my shapes and then I'll do a quick search for skeleton. Best way to find um, your keynote shapes. I'll make it a little bit bigger. I might change the color of it. And a lot of people don't know, but if I tap on my skeleton and go up to my paintbrush, I can actually do some really cool stuff. Like if I go to the arrange, the arrange category at the top, after I've changed it to black, if I go to the arrange at the top, down the bottom, you can break apart different keynote shapes. Look at this. And it creates individual ones. So let's say that my GIF is about looking at the rib cage. Um, I can now select the rib cage, turn it to a different color and perhaps even give it a little animation so that the, the kids that I'm teaching can actually identify that. Now, I could add text. I could tap on it and animate it. I'm going to do a little kind of jiggle, a little wiggle animation to bring it. I could bring in some text as a coming in. I could add text coming out. I could put a whole range of different things on this, but I'm just showing you how to do it and the process. That's looking really good. Um, if I actually click on that, I can change the duration and the intensity as well. Make it go for there as well. The great thing about GIFs is it just repeats anyway. Um, so that's a good thing. I don't need to worry about that too much. And now I've got a great little uh, animated GIF, educational one that looks at the ribcage and what area is the ribcage that you could attach to your learning management system or Shobi or Padlets or Microsoft Teams or Google or w whatever platform that you use. So that's looking great. I'm actually going to go up to my paintbrush though. Uh, I'll tap off my skeleton, go up to my paintbrush, and I'm going to turn the background of my slide to no fill. Now you won't be able to see my skeleton because it kind of makes it go black, but you'll see that it won't affect the overall GIF, but I'm going to turn it transparent because I want to be able to overlap. So I'm going to go up to my three dots at the top. I'm going to export it as an animated GIF or GIF, depending on what you actually say. Um, you can choose a different quality if you want. Um, and I'm gonna make sure I've got transparent background toggled on. And that just means that when it converts it to a GIF now, and I save the image to my camera roll, it means that it'll have a transparent background, which is really great if I want to layer my GIFs. There he is there, he's looking really great as a GIF. But it just means if I open up Keynote again and change the background in the slide, it means that I can use my animated GIFs in other contexts. So if I actually go up to my, let's change this to a different color. And then if I go to my photo gallery here and find the GIF that I just exported, you'll notice that it's got a beautiful transparent background. It's not a white background. It just gives you that preview. And you can see here that I can resize it as a GIF. I can place it in any of my documents, which is going to look great. And then if I change the background, say to a green color or a different color, you'll notice that that GIF, see down the bottom left, has a beautiful transparent background. So you could do water cycles. You could do any sort of curriculum area. That's how we build animated GIFs.